Let me do a little housekeeping here. Today I'm smoking my Mr. Brog Model 27 and in it I'm trying something different. I went to my local tobacco merchant today and the name of that store is The Tobacco Merchant and uh, I talked to the guy. I bought some tobaccos. Um, I bought three different blends of uh, aromatics that I enjoy. I got the uh, Scotch Highland Whiskey, I got the Nutty Java, and I got one called 578K Aromatics. And then I told him I wanted to try an English blend, but maybe not something too English. Anyway, he recommended two of those to me. I got one. That's what I'm smoking now. It's called the Swamp Fox. If you don't know who the Swamp Fox is, look into your South Carolina history. Or watch the movie The Patriot with Mel Gibson, because that movie was about him, but they don't call him Swamp Fox in that movie. They call him The Ghost. But he told me that this was a, a tobacco that would be a good introduction to English. Um, he said it's a light English. And um, I have to be honest with you, it's not bad. The aroma is, is different. It smells more um, like a cigar. The taste isn't as sweet, but there's no bite. I, I like it. But anyway, on with the video. Hey, hey, YouTube. Welcome back to Urban Outdoors. I'm Urban, and hey, I'm glad you're here. I have got to share this story with you guys. First time this has happened to me. I had a doctor's appointment downtown in Columbia, South Carolina, which is the capital of the state of South Carolina. The uh, doctor's appointment went fine. I had a, a swallow test. Everything turned out good. But that's not the point. After I went to my doctor's appointment, I was bored and I said, well, it's been a long time since I've been to the Capitol building. I think I'll get out and take a look around the Capitol building, see what's going on. I didn't have my camera with me, but I did have my phone, and I took some video footage, took some pictures and some video footage of some of the, the statues and the monuments around the Capitol building. Just having a good time, minding my own business. I was wearing my Trump hat because I have the right to do that. I love my country. I want to help it make, make it great again. And I love my president. About halfway around on the back side of the building, I could not help but hear this very loud presentation. And it was a bunch of women talking, well, not just women, there were some men there too, but they were talking about how abortion is okay. How it is literally okay to kill a human being legally. Well, I'm a southern gentleman. I didn't get involved. I politely walked around the event and uh, stopped filming and uh, did not make any waves minding my own business. I got to the back side where there is the Wade Hampton statue and uh, it's a statue of Wade Hampton on a horse and I was videoing it, that statue and this lady came up to me while I was talking with her trying to be as nice and cordial and as much of a southern gentleman as I can uh, my phone rang and therefore interrupted the video because I wanted to video the whole conversation. But anyway, I'll play that section in just a little bit. 
Um, but you will see how intolerant this person was. And she had the nerve to ask me, what was I doing there wearing this Trump hat? Well, first of all, I don't know who you are. I don't know what group you're representing. I didn't even know you guys were here. I just came to visit my state capitol because I have that right. Well, she proceeded to tell me, you know, there's another choice. There are other choices besides Trump. And again, being the Southern gentleman I am, I said, yeah, there are other choices. But for me, he's the only one. She went on to talk about how I could represent or how I could support a racist. I said, give me an example of when he was a racist. The only thing she could throw out is when she uh, when he said that Obama wasn't born in America and uh, I went on to talk about how well the economy's doing and how the job numbers are up and how the unemployment rate is lowest it's ever been for African Americans and Hispanics as well as everybody how the stock market is an all-time high how ISIS is virtually dead and continuing to die and she said you know what we're done and she turned around and walked off I said well yep you're done all right but anyway I thought it was hilarious and uh, after that encounter I proceeded to you know walk around and film things then the battery on my phone died but anyway I just wanted to share with you how this Democratic Party, supposedly the party of tolerance, has no tolerance at all and how angry they are and how they can let a, a little hat offend them so much to the point where they have to come start an argument with somebody who's just minding their own business. Sad state of affairs. What I wanted to say to her is, look, I know you've been angry for three years. Are you going to be angry for five more years? Don't worry. The first female president is coming. Ivanka, 2024. <laughs> but I didn't say that. Anyway, all she was doing was trolling for somebody with a hat on to disagree with her and to fight with her. I stood my ground, but I didn't give her the fight she was looking for. And she had enough, said we're done, and walked off. And then I went my way. Anyway, here's some of the video. I hope you enjoy it. All right, so here I am today at the Capitol building of South Carolina. Let's take a stroll around and see what we can find. <clears throat> Beautiful trees. And of course these trees have been here for hundreds of years but look at them I wouldn't mind climbing one but I'm sure they would have uh, something to say about that we're gonna walk up here to the building take a closer look at the Capitol building So in the background, we've got people who are pro-abortion having a little rally. You can see there's not a lot of people there. But they were talking about abortions and how it's okay to have them and that they are for them. I guess 
the one speaking wasn't aborted, was she? To Wade Hampton. Born March 28, 1818, died April 11, 1902. I was just having a procedure done at the Baptist Hospital and I wanted to come see my state capitol. I had an upper GI test for my swallow study. I don't know, we'll find out. <laughs> I had to drink a bunch of that barium stuff that doesn't taste very good. They haven't improved it in all these years? That's what I asked the guy. I said, have you guys come up with a way to make that stuff taste better yet? He said, no. I said, well, you need to get Clark W. Griswold on it. Because he does food preservatives. Maybe he can make it taste better. I don't know if you remember No, I don't even know what's going on. Did you remember the look on his kid's face after they tasted the, the milk or the cookies? <laughs> Not so good. Yeah, well, yeah. that's Clark for you, all right? Years ago, they had like a... Wow, I don't know if you just got that, but... Yep, sure enough had one of those uh, liberal dims come over here and ask me why I felt it necessary to come here today wearing my Trump hat. Well... I explained, I just came from the hospital across the street. I happened to wear my Trump hat a lot, and I wanted to come make some video of the Capitol building because it's my cap. And she went on to try to explain to me that there were more options than Trump, and I told her no, there weren't. And she went on and said, you really support that racist? And I said, well, what has he done that's racist? She couldn't answer me. She couldn't answer any of my questions. Doesn't surprise me. But anyway, see if he can find some more stars on the building. I thought it was uh, pretty funny, though, how they, uh, they come up. They're supposed to be all about tolerance. But here I am, minding my own business, walking around, taking pictures of buildings and statues and then she comes and accosts me that's funny so seems like the ones that are supposed to be uh, tolerant aren't quite so tolerant after all so here we are this is approaching the front side by Main Street and I don't see any of the cannons. Uh, I was talking to a gentleman about that, and he explained to me that the way that Sherman came through Columbia was from that other side over there. And uh, that's why most of those uh, cannon hits are on that side of the building and uh, he marched through from that side across this way when he burned Columbia. Now here's a view of downtown from the State House. That's Main Street right there. And then here we have steps. I'm not sure if you can see the flags flying up there. Wasn't, wasn't all that long ago that the Confederate flag flew there. In my opinion, it should still be. Then they moved it to behind this statue. People bitched and complained and whined again and they decided to uh, move it into a relic room somewhere. 
and it took years to do that. So it's funny how people try to erase history to fit their needs. They don't like it, so they erase it. Anyway, let's see what statue this is. Says Cuba, USA, Philippine Islands, Puerto Rico, Spanish War. Well, so what do you guys think? Have you guys ever been accosted or harassed by some liberal Democrat just because you're wearing a Trump hat or a Trump shirt? You know, I wear this hat all the time. And that's the first time I've ever had anybody come up and start a problem with me. Most of the time, I get people say, hey, I like your hat. I like your hat. Even at the hospital today, one of the technicians told me, she said, I, I like your hat, but you're going to have to take it off for the procedure. No problem. But have you guys ever experienced any hate from supporting your president because whether you like it or not he is your president and he's gonna be for five more years get used to it anyway that's all i got for you guys today thanks for coming along on Arab and outdoors i really appreciate it and until next time keep calm carry on keep puffing and keep it outdoors